in uh, June, the 1st of June here, and we're just starting to enter into some warm summer. Uh, looking forward to that because then I get to go out and do some uh, field work, check out some spiders there. But for today, I wanted to kind of uh, introduce some uh, jumping spiders, uh, Phytopus autixes, males and females together, and see if I might be able to catch them in some romantic moods. So we'll see if this uh, uh, mating procedure will work at all. It might be a total flop and they might not be uh, ready for this, but I'm ready, so we'll see what happens. So uh, let's see what we can do with the uh, mating, possible mating, of some uh, jumping spiders. Okay, let's see if I can encourage this female here to come out and visit with us. There she is. There she comes. She's uh, playing a little shy here. There she is. Yeah. She's uh, checking out the camera. Okay, what I've done here is set up a little enclosure with a white bottom piece of uh, cardboard. And I've introduced uh, three of the jumping spiders into this uh, constrained area with a piece of plexiglass on top so I can film through. And uh, here's one spider right over here. And then over here is another one. And in the corner is one more. So we'll see what kind of interaction we have here. We have a couple males being introduced here as well as a female. Let's see how the males do. Should be getting their arms up in the air for defensive posturing, which is what I'm starting to see right here. As the confrontation begins. Kind of checking each other out. The interlocking of some jaws. And the one retreats way over here. Let's see if we have a second go round or not. I think for fun I'll introduce uh, another Phytopisodex and uh, see what happens with this more uh, larger joining of uh, spiders, male and female. We'll see what, uh, what happens with that. I hope nobody decides to take a lunch dinner <laughs> or a meal ticket. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully I'll be able to keep them from doing that, but I can't guarantee that, of course. So we'll open up our container. And we have a uh, another male right in here. We'll introduce him and see how that all goes over. There we go. Okay, introduced that one into the container. Which means we now have four in here. One there, one in the center, one over here in the corner, and then way down at the other corner is our fourth one. So, let's see if we can capture some interaction with these four. Little clean of the fangs there. With the uh, pedipalps. 
You can see this uh, helps us see the male pedipalps. You'll notice they're enlarged or bulbous at the tips. That's how you identify a male. Spider over in that corner. Our spider in the center. This is the female. Another one over here. And then down over in the corner, our uh, poor spider. Nobody seems to be making any quick moves well, anywhere. Uh, for fun, I think I'm going to introduce a, a cricket to the container and uh, see if that adds any interest to uh, the observations here. Um, otherwise, it's pretty dull right now. Okay, I got my cricket here in my little uh, straw pooter. Um, with my little pooter, if you haven't seen it before in any of my videos, there's a little piece of nylon stocking on the end, which allows me to suck things up into the straw tube, and then to blow them out wherever I want to have them. And in this case, I'm going to blow the little cricket into the enclosure here. So, here's where we're going. Just insert the little pooter right in there, and I'm going to give a little puff on it. And there goes the cricket. <laughs> yeah, home, causing at least a little bit more commotion than we've seen earlier, which is a good thing. All right, here goes a confrontation. Arms up. Confrontation. Size each other up. And who's got the bigger fangs and the bigger legs? See those fangs bared? Who's the king of the hill here? Pretty good standoff. One at the top of the screen seems to be a little more aggressive. One at the bottom just kind of holding his own. Sooner or later somebody's going to make a run. See if we can uh, come in from the side approach. It didn't work very well. Like the younger, more aggressive one is heading off. Guess he's had enough play. Well, I guess this is probably the victor, <laughs> at least in that standoff. Well, 
Well, there goes the cricket. Uh, just became dinner. seeing a real locking of the jaws and we're getting into bite now this could be the battle to the end here for one of them there goes one running off and that would be the victor looking at the camera lens here who fled and this male's all hyped now my hunch is it's quite possible that in that little skirmish this jumper here could have received a wound He's not looking as healthy as it was a little while ago. It's possibly got a little bite there. Don't know if there was any injection or not. They can choose how much venom to inject or not inject at all. But he does look like he's suffering a little bit. So he may have taken a bite there. Now, this male is approaching this female but I think this female is dead. I've had them in captivity all winter. And it's possible she has expired here while conducting our little experiment for mating. But he recognizes that it's a female. However, she's not able to respond, so be interesting to see what he does here. I think she's gone. He's checking me out, of course, with the camera. And has apparently lost interest in the female who's not responding. Well, you saw how the Phidippus autoxes can uh, work together uh, in far as their confrontational stances. And uh, too bad the female uh, died before we had a chance to see how they would interact. But I do have a video that's coming up to show what happens to mate a male and female Phidippus autox, which I think you'll enjoy. So be sure to watch that one. And also I want to take you in back scenes and kind of show you what I do to catch Phidippus autoxes. Uh, they're a tough spider to catch because they're so fast and they got excellent eyesight, which makes them really a challenge. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care now.